Hey everybody and welcome. In today's video I'm going to try to explain a simple concept I see a lot of people are having issues with the uh, understanding and that is how to take a round surface and put a cylindrical imprint in it without getting the edges to pinch and deform. Now what I mean by this is very simple. So for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a sphere, just a regular sphere. I'm going to try well with 32 segments. There we go. And just create one sphere like this. There we go. So, adding in a, a cylindrical shape in the middle is not that hard. All you have to do is just go ahead, convert this thing into an edible poly. Take the polygons that you want to have the sphere be. I'm going to take these nine. And with the right click I'm gonna go over to the regularize button now in case you don't have this uh, button here it, it means you haven't downloaded the, the loop regularizer script so go ahead download it and you should have this thing uh, appear so right click on it again and click on regularize this will make it so that you have whatever you selected in a perfect circle like this now this is good so we can uh, continue on with uh, the modeling of this thing. So if I go ahead and extrude once, I can go either as a positive or a negative one. So let's go ahead and do a negative one of minus five. There you go, click okay. There we go. So now, here's the thing. Uh, if we put a turbo smooth on top of this, we can notice one thing. The edges here have a bit of a deform on the sides now in this case it's really not that visible because this is a very very uh, low polygon or a low poly sphere but if i go ahead and create another sphere next to it this time around though make it 64 put it up next to it let's do the same thing this is going to be much more pronounced i'm going to select a bit more so get in here ignore back facing and let's let's go ahead and select all of these like this there we go so again right click regularize and we get this shape again i'm going to go with the same extrude minus 10 or minus 5 and click ok so now if i put a turbo smooth on top of this it's much more visible at these edges here that we have some sort of a pinching if, we, if I increase the iteration, it kind of gets uh, less pronounced, but we can see, still see in here. But if I go even higher, that's going to still have a bit of a mark. But here's the problem. We don't want to uh, basically depend on going way too high on the turbo smooth. So in order to do this, what we have to do is do a bit of a cleanup. And the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to go over here, open up my uh, modeling ribbon, take my Swift loop, and now we can come over to the edges, click here. And this is the most common way I've seen this uh, be done by people who are just starting out or have been doing this for a while. And they do this. So they basically have uh, this, this sort of a geometry going across this hole but here's a problem now when you uh, put on a not a turbo smooth this thing is very very well defined or it's well contained in here but we have these edges here as well so we are having a bit of a pinching here because all of those polygons that are going across they're too close to each other so this is not the way to approach something like this so to make this thing even more uh, easy to follow along what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this thing on a flat surface because for the next part I just want you to uh, see this thing better so to make that I'm gonna go over here create another plane I just go in something like this. Let's put in 8 by 8. There we go. This should be enough. So this is basically what we have. So if I put this thing to a edible poly. Let's select. 
these guys and regularize. So this is what we have at the moment. So what we just did was we added out these edges here. And by doing this, as we saw, we had that same problem because we got the pinching. So we're not going to do this. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get an another extra edge to go or flow around uh, this perimeter. And the way we're going to do that is uh, there's a couple of ways, actually. So first one is going to be select these two and connect them and then collapse them together. Select these two, connect, collapse. These two connect, collapse. These two connect and collapse. So now by doing it this way, we have another edge going across the whole thing. So if I go ahead with the Swift loop, you're going to see that this thing is now going across here. And if I go ahead and take this thing and basically extrude it downwards, this, and put a turbo smooth on it, we're going to see we no longer have that issue at the corner. So let's reapply that uh, same uh, approach to our sphere and see how it's going to look like. So come in here, remove the extra edges that we just added. That one, that one, that one, and that one. So I'm going to select the same guys. So these two vertices, these two, and actually let's just collapse them right away. Collapse, connect, collapse, and connect, collapse. Now, also, if you take a look at here, you're going to see that everything we have in here at the moment, they're all quads. And we might want to take these guys, we just created, and basically just move them around a bit so they are not pinching this much. So I'm going to put on my constraints, edge constraints on, and just move them like this. Same thing here. There we go, so we don't get any pinching, so we get more uniform distribution of our polygons. Like this, and there we go. So now what I can do is check with my Turbo Smooth, and I can see that I have no problems whatsoever on the edges. So if I want to make this thing a bit uh, stronger now, I can add in one extra edge in here. And that is going to make it so we have a sharper corner in here. All right, so let's see one more thing then. That was the first uh, way to do this by just adding in one extra or one connection. So let's see if we do this thing in the middle one more time. So I'm going to select these guys, right click, regularize. And I can see that in here now, I have a bit of a problem. This regularize is really, really weird. So it's not what I'm actually trying to achieve because in here we have these two edges meeting, so they're not giving me a nice cut. So in order to get around this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grow this. And in here, I'm gonna uh, go and add me an inset. So edit inset, right, a small inset like this. Now select all of these guys in here. And very important, make sure your constraints are off. So now right click, regularize, and we have a very, very nice cut in here. And this thing will help with the extra support for this edge, or the outer edge. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bevel this thing so we have a bit of extra geometry to work with. So let's go with another five in the positive. Click OK. All right, let's check out the Turbo Smooth version. All right, very clean, no issues whatsoever. All right, so the first uh, thing we're going to do in here is, for example, if we want to add in one more cut in the middle in here. Now, we cannot go and do the same thing with it over here because we are lacking a bit of geometry, so we cannot collapse these two. So what we're going to do is the other way that you can add extra edge, and that is you select all of these 
edges that are going across and simply put a connect through them. Now, even though they're not parallel to each other, if you have them like this in a circle around something and you hit the connect, that will give you a really decent uh, connect going across the whole thing. You can slide it, but as you can see, if you're sliding it like this, you're gonna have this problem. If you wanna have this thing to be on both sides, what you can do is you add in two segments and they can pinch them together so it gets closer to the edge. Pinch them apart like this. And now just select the one you don't like or you don't need and just remove it. Also, you need to make sure that when you get over here, you get rid of this by collapsing it. So collapse it over there, collapse it over there, collapse this, and collapse this. So there we go. We have a very sharp cut in there. So if we take a look at our geometry right now, there are no places where the, we are seeing uh, the geometry is uh, giving us Artif artifacts. We haven't placed the, any extra edges that go around this thing. And based on wherever you want to add in some extra sharpness to the corners, what we have to do is just follow along with the extra edges that we are putting in and we can control that sharpness there. So more or less, by just following this simple rule where instead of going around and using all that extra geometry going across your entire model, all you have to do is just approach it with uh, adding in the extra support and by connecting or doing the other approach that we do did here, you're gonna get some very clean geometry. Now, I hope you guys had fun and you managed to learn something new from this video. If you'd like to support me, you can click the join button and the direct links will be in the description below. And the most helpful thing you can do is click the like and subscribe buttons and comment in the video. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.